week, boy. Welcome to tonight's show. You're with Tom, Brian and Steve, and this is NRL from the sidelines. And as we do it every time this week, we'll be talking about the round of NRL that's just been played. But gentlemen, before we get started, how are you? Oh, fantastic. Living the dream, Steve. Living, Living the, dream. the dream. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I want football season to be over. <laughs> I actually have a question to ask you. Tom, I'll come to you in a second. Yes, okay. At which show in the next three weeks would you like to be wearing a South jersey? And would you like the retro one or the latest one? Let's talk about this later. No, off, no, no. no. I think everyone off needs camera. to know. No, off, it's an off-camera discussion. No, it's not. Because <laughs> you're going to be wearing one. Well, yeah. mathematically, we could still finish ahead of you. Well, mathematically, you could win the grand final, but that's Correct. not going to happen either. But we can still finish ahead of you, so I'm not giving up yet. <laughs> so you've got to win every single game, and South are going to have to lose every single game. And by the way, we have a much better for and against. No, no, if we win every game and you lose every game, we still finish ahead of you. <clears throat> Depends on the for and against. But if you win one, we're, we're not in a good position. <laughs> Tom, how are you? Yeah, good. We only need to win eight games in a row, and we're premiers. There you go. I just thought about you know, it the other day. You're supposed to not come to this show living in fairyland. Okay? <laughs> this is supposed so to what's a, your excuse? This is a serious football <laughs> analysis show. Is it? No. Right. Okay, let's okay. start. Gentlemen, we're going to talk about round 21 that was played last week. Yeah. Um, and let's start on Thursday night uh, where the Roosters beat the Broncos 34-16. to 16. Have the wheels fallen off the Broncos? Oh, you can only hope. See, there they go. They, they, clearly, the Roosters did nothing right. It's all the Broncos. I didn't even realise that it was the Roosters playing. I'm just glad the Broncos lost. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, I wish yeah. they'd won. <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying the Roosters didn't play well. Yeah. But what I am yeah, saying no, is I think that... It, there's problems with the Broncos. There's, there's no doubt definitely about that. Problems. Yeah, their, their defence has become very shaky. Yep. Um, and their attacks is, attack is clunky. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Um, you know... I yeah. mean, the Roosters' defence was exceptionally good. Um, but, uh, but yeah, the Broncos didn't offer a lot. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, they, the Broncos didn't throw anything at them. <coughs> that, that young halfback needs to learn how to play a full season. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 because he's only young, he's struggling a little bit. He's, he's, he, I guess he's struggling in the pressure moments, which happens to a lot of young halfbacks. Struggling oh, in the pressure goodness. moments. Yeah. We had some Tom, really really good patches. I was going to say, what do you like about the Roosters? Yeah, no, there's some really good patches. When they were on, they were they were scary good. Um, but I don't know, just fall in holes sometimes. And uh, the week before, they made a lot of errors, and yet still went on to win the game. Um, this week, they made some errors, but not as many, and took more of their opportunities. And look, when they when they're firing, they look really good. But I also have to remember too that. We've had Sam Verrills out, a specialist hooker, for the first time in I don't know how long, um, all Hang season. On. Well, you've got a specialist hooker. Yeah, we do. All right, fair enough. We don't. Sam Verrills is a specialist. Yeah, We're not we talking don't. about you at the moment. I was going to say, so don't, make, talking don't, about don't, you. don't make excuses. What I'm saying is we didn't have a specialist hooker all season, and now we have, and you can just see what difference that makes, is what I'm saying. Yeah, good luck. Um, and having Kiri back, having the, the bases of our team almost all there, you can see what they're capable of. So that's really encouraging. You, you two want me just to leave and let you two go for a Hi- Highlight of the game, Steve? Uh, well, we haven't talked about the South game yet. No, the highlight of that game. Highlight of that game? I can't believe how much blood came out of Victor Radley. <laughs> 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 Mate, that, I hope that bloke's okay. booked in at, uh, at the Red Cross somewhere he's to, get, to donate. Because let me tell you, there was a lot of blood coming he's out of that boy. He's a legend. why he was allowed to stay on the field? With so much head trauma. Mm. And, you know, gosh, hey. I mean, seriously... Lately, you don't have to be hit in the head hard, not only to be rested for 15 minutes, but to yeah, come off for the game. Absolutely. Yeah. How was he allowed to stay on? Well, I mean, he never he never appeared to lose any consciousness. So I think so, it was a grade two, um, and he obviously passed it. And the Roosters are very good losing, at that. That was a serious head injury. But that's, not a, that's usually not a, cr- and, cr- a criteria. No, and, that, and then he comes back on and keeps bleeding. Yep. And then he had to be go off again. <laughs> he did all the right oh, things. Anyway. Yeah, well, Can't please you guys. After that one. Cannot please you guys. All right, Melbourne 20, 32 beat the Gold Coast Titans 14. <clears throat> Not I a convincing what, performance. No, it wasn't. And and that concerns me that they didn't look all that good against the Titans. You take three, Cameron Munster's three brilliant tries out of that, 
and they didn't look that great. Yeah. Jeez, look, I thought, pr- pretty I, good fullback, isn't he? Oh, he's not bad, <laughs> is he? Yeah. I actually thought he, he was... I actually thought the Titans at one stage were going to roll them. No. So, yeah, I, they were really? staying... Yeah, because they were staying in the fight. No. Towards the end, yeah, they lost they scored it. their points early. Yeah. First 43 minutes. Yeah. But so. you know what? I, yeah. I, and what do you say about the Titans? They... <laughs> well, we'll see this week how they go. Mm. <laughs> They're playing they play? you? Yeah. All right. Well, they could, could be a win for them. Well, they could mm. be a win for them. Brian, we're going to talk about the next game. All right. What's the next game? Parramatta Eels 36, Manly 20. Oh, geez. Wasn't Mitch Moses great? That's what they all want to hear out there. <laughs> Even though he didn't play, yeah. he was superb. It was a good cameo. I saw him on the camera. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was there. Yeah. Man of the match performance. Yeah, absolutely. But I tell you what, Gutho played well. Yeah. King Gutho. Yeah. He, he's, yeah. He's heart and soul of that team, honestly. Yeah. yeah. wonder where they got him from. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sam Brella. Leading hearts. Fair dinkum. Jeez. Yeah, well. Everybody comes from Manly. They do. And, and and to go down at Four Pines Park. Oh, in that fashion was disgraceful. Yeah, disgraceful. There was, there. I mean, look, in, in my mind, there was a lack of lack of energy, but there were a couple of decisions that I thought were somewhat average. So, Tell us. Uh, Morgan Harper, when he was denied a penalty try. Oh, that wasn't going to be a penalty try. Absolutely it was. The guy, the guy was behind him and pulled him out of the way of the ball. Yeah, but there's no guarantee he was going to catch the ball. There, there, it was over no the guarantee. flipping line. There's still no guarantee. All he had to do was do that, what? and what? it was a try. That was a penalty try every day of the week. And uh, just when Manly were on the on the way back, uh, Jason Saab gets pinged for a for a tackle because he hit him too hard. I don't know. I just thought, yeah, I, I, that that game disillusioned me. So <laughs> always a problem when when, when you have to when you have to excuse your team for losing, and you blame the refs. That's that's a problem. Oh, don't Seriously. start it's with every me. Week you lose. Don't start Seriously. with me. Yeah. You got to if if every, that was either week. of you if either, if that was either of you you'd not be me. blowing up the oh, last of that try was missed. No, no. Only Tom. No. My goodness. I'm unbiased. As we all know. My goodness. I'm unbiased. These guys aren't. All right. Moving on. Moving on. Hang on, I oh, lost my space. Yeah, it's the right, bo- let's go boring, to match of the round. Boringest South, game of the weekend. South Sydney forty-eight, Warriors ten, and I've got to tell you, I'm disappointed South didn't go on with it. Mm. I was doing something because it was thirty-six-six at half time, yep. and I was disappointed that they they definitely took their foot off. Oh yeah, they're not not no they're not Premiership contenders. They don't know how to put a team away. <laughs> they don't need to put teams away. They just need to win. Yeah, lucky win, fluky win that one. This one, yeah, fluky win, fluky win. There's a couple of good tries. A couple of good tries, mm. but I, I don't. Latrell's try was good. Yeah, yeah, Latrell's try was good. Alex Johnson's try was good. Yeah, can't believe that you wanted to get rid of him either. Well, neither can I. <laughs> that's, that's now water under the bridge. Can, can I just say, I think I, I look South did look good, no doubt. Yeah, but, but they were playing the Warriors. But yeah, they they were they were clean in what they were doing, but. Let's face it, they were playing a team that didn't want to be there. Well, you know, the interesting part of this game was that the first probably five tries that South yep. scored, all through the middle. Yeah. Alex Johnson scores one in the first half. All the others are straight through the middle. I mean, Ilyas's try through the yep. middle. Um, Latrell's through the middle. I mean, yeah. it was just... yeah. So That's always was, a bad sign. There was no defence. So through the middle. It's really hard to get a read on, on yeah. how good Souths were when mm. your defence just isn't there. You know, and when, when a bloke like Tohu Harris, who gives 110% every week, mm. yeah. just looks bored, like, can we just pack yeah. it in? Yeah. Like, that's that's not worth it. See, and this is my argument against the second, worry, the second New Zealand team. They can't get a decent team over there. Um, well, well, they can. They let them all go. Mm. The, well, the other thing you've got to say, too, is them go. they're coming coming at the back end of three very, very difficult years. So while I agree with you in many parts, um, I don't think you can really judge where they're at at the moment um, other than, say, they've spent three seasons yeah, okay, in Australia but, away but from their no. families. Let's have a look at Melbourne two years ago. Yep. Where they had a season where they lived, or most of the season, yeah, out of in the Gold Coast. Yeah. But they were already a team that, that had it together. Yeah, but, but that bonded them as a team. That yeah. made them. Yep. Yes. These guys came back, had a, had one great game, 
And now they're back in New Zealand. But, the, still but, Mel better. but Melbourne had their families with them. The Warriors didn't. So the Warriors. The Warriors didn't. The Warriors do now. They did, they do but they now. didn't before. So? Yeah, but What's your excuse? It's five but, weeks ago. Yeah, they're now back home. They're now playing in front of their own crowds. Yep. It, 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 mm. that, my point is, I don't think that's the issue with the Warriors. Agree. I really don't. Okay, let's move on then to Penrith Panthers and the Raiders. This was an interesting game. Penrith 26, Raiders 6. Oh, uh, you know, I picked the Raiders, so... So did I. Me too. There's, there's, uh, occasionally, occasionally I do pick uh, on logic and thought process. That scoreline just stuns me. Yep. It really does. They, you know, it doesn't matter who gets to the grand final. I think the Panthers have got it. They are just dynamic. They do the little things right. They keep coming. They don't stop. They're, they're impressive. No was, Cleary. Yep. No Luai. Yep. No Fisher Harris. No kick out. No kick out. No kick out. <laughs> just... And they still beat a team that everyone thought would make the eight. By yep. 20 points. Oh, and the no. you look at the stats, there's virtually nothing in the stats. Yeah. Completions, um, possession, every stat you want to look at, there's virtually no difference. Kick return meters is about the biggest difference. Um, but other than that, there's virtually nothing. And yet, it's, what, 20 points difference. Yeah. We're going to talk about Ricky Stewart? We can talk about Ricky Stewart. Yeah. And his comments. Firstly, let me say, entirely inappropriate to say it in that forum. Yeah. In fact, entirely inappropriate to say it. Well, I mean, we don't know the back the back story. No, we don't. Um, oh, we and know enough. Some, Jeez, it's in every every bit of no, no. Media. But no, but nobody the, the knows what happened when, when when his twelve year old was on the field. What was said or done at the time? Who knows what was done, said or done at the time? I mean, it could have been terrible. But you'd like to hope that it's it's another twelve years. I think um, yep. that hopefully the kid's grown up a bit. Well, can um, I can I say on that point? Okay. We've all, I would expect we've all said and done stupid things as 12 what, year olds. As a 12 year old? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> line them up, right? I mean, no, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. so, really, for someone like Ricky Stewart to say, oh, you know, drag yeah. something out from yep. 12 years ago when, when he was a kid. Yeah. Yep. I mean, come on. I, I think, but I also want to discuss the penalty. Mm hmm. We argued oh, on Facebook. Okay, yeah, yeah. Penalty, so, Ricky's so, penalty. Ricky's penalty. Not right. so, penalty. So, so, so we agree the, f the comments were... Inappropriate. Inappropriate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So before we discuss the penalty, the on-field incident? I thought, I think it's fair he got charged. Ooh. He definitely he, kicked, he, kicked he, it. He, he definitely kicked, 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 kicked him out. twice. Well, he yeah, yeah, he, he, kicked, he, he lashed out. I, yeah. I agree, but lots of times players lash out. Looked very oh, deliberate. And, and looked I don't very deliberate. The trail lashed out a few, a couple of years yeah. ago, and you're yeah, no, no, no. And I, I agree. And there should six weeks. Oh, that's not. That's not. You can't compare that so, at all. Of course you can. That's ridiculous. No. And, and this uh, see, this, this, this is why. This, yeah. no, no, let him go because this just proves that anything he says Hanging from this point himself. on is <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Not biased. So yeah. So so he needed. So you're right. So he needed. There needed to be a penalty because he lashed out the tackle with his with his. And I'm not saying he should get six weeks. I'm saying he lashed out with his feet, hit him in the crown jewel. Okay. So let's talk about the face. Yep. Let's talk about. Let's talk about the penalty handed out to Ricky. Yep. Okay. Twenty five thousand dollars. Fair penalty. Which he has to pay himself. Which is fine. Yeah. No, I accept that. Fair penalty. And I would have been happy if he was stood down on game day. Mm -hmm. Not for the whole week. I don't know what right. it achieves to stand him down for the whole week. I would be happy if he was stood down for the rest of the season. And I lie somewhere in between, I think, because I thought he, I thought a one week was not enough. But what's the point of standing him down for the season? It's was it that serious? Yeah, it was. It was. We're talking about we're talking about a game that continually uh, tries to portray itself as the people's game. Yeah. Uh, which it is. It succeeds. Yep. Mm. It's it's a hard game. It's a tough game. It it forgives wrongs. We've got we've got you know blokes like Russell Packer still playing, uh, and uh, sorry no Russell Matt Packer, Lodge. Matt Lodge. Yep. Uh, Russell Packer is the other one that springs to mind. Mm -hmm. Where where redemption. The game the game is is about redemption. Yep. We're talking about a juvenile incident from twelve years ago, yep. and Ricky Stewart, dead set, made a goose out of himself. There's no mention of the poor kid's mental health. What's going on with mm, him? It's all about Ricky. And anything else that's changed. It's yeah, it's all about Ricky. Yeah. When when there's a press conference there, you know who I felt the most sorry for was Elliot Whitehead sitting next to him going, Oh, please don't ask me, because this bloke's just gone off his nut. 
Mm. Like, mm. it was, it was, you know what? It was embarrassing. If I was the Raiders, I would stand him down because it was that embarrassing to the club and mm. the game. Okay, like, but- if you're gonna, if you're gonna, no, no, if you're gonna stand a guy down for an alleged incident, which they do, if you're gonna penalise players for uh, for fatigue related mistakes, then there's got to be a penalty more than a week okay. for that kind and, of behaviour. Yeah, but actually, he did. Technically, he got he got seven days. Okay, so when it, when a player I, I'm, I'm playing against you and I hit you over the head, which is really tempting. Come in and hit you over the head. Yep. Okay. I get sent off and I get a week or two weeks or whatever. Yep. I can still turn up to training. I yep. can still talk to my players. I can still yep. talk to my teammates. I can still go to, to, to physio sessions. All that sort of yeah. I just can't play the game. Yeah, I, I understand that. Now, but, you but, take No, no, no. But that's because you are a player and, yeah. and you have... Unless it's, a, as we said, a deliberate act, you have made a mistake under fatigue and error in judgment. You know, you don't yep. sit there and stew about it and no, then no. have a deliberate attack on someone. But in, in technical terms of a play, he actually got seven weeks. No. Because he can't turn no. up, he can't do anything with no, the club. It's not the same seven as seven games. games. It's not no, the same it's, seven it's, games. It's, it's not. It is. And, you've got and, a coach. You've got hang a coach. on, hang on. You've got, no, He's got assistants, coaches. Yeah, but they're not He's Ricky primed Stewart. them up. He's no. primed them no, up. No, they're not Ricky yeah. you're, just, you're just so far wrong on this, yeah. Steve. No. I can't yeah. believe it. I cannot <laughs> believe how far wrong you are. Like usually at the back of my mind, I'm going, yeah, he's got a point maybe, but I'm still not agreeing with him. Yeah, yeah, we this is on. nothing. All right, continue on. <clears throat> I don't want to now. I'm, yeah, you do. No, I'm yeah. going to cry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> St- Steve? Yes. How's, are you okay, Steve? How's your mental health? Yes. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> you okay, mate? I'm, I'm, I'm heartbroken right now. You'd say those things about me. We're going to uh, take a short break. <laughs> just see, see some weather pattern things on the screen yeah, for a few minutes. Sorry, I'm got dust in my eyes. <laughs> uh, where were we? We were Sharks 24, St. George, Illawarra 18. And I'll tell you what, I thought St. George were coming to get them. Yeah, oh. yeah. Defend, defend, uh, it's, Sharks will take a lot out of this, yeah. out of their defence. Last week and this week, they'll take a lot out of those I mean, there was games. one stage of the game where St. George probably had six sets. Yep. On Cronulla's line. Yep. And I don't know they threw a lot at them. But, you know, the one <coughs> thing about Cronulla, and they showed it against South last week, is that they can defend well. Mm. They got grit. defend extremely well. Well, Craig Fitzgibbon was our defensive coach. Yeah. You know, he is credited for a lot of the success we had. And so we knew they were gonna, he was going to take that mindset. Yeah. I didn't think the Dragons were ever going to get away with it. Neither did I, because I thought that they, they were always... The Sharks always seem, seem that step ahead. But you know yeah. what? They were, I was sort of hoping they would. Well, well I, was, I wasn't. I was Yeah, no, you <laughs> wouldn't want the Dragons to win. I wasn't at all. Uh, dear. All right. Uh, North Queensland 28, Dogs 14. This surprised me. Didn't see the game. Sorry, I was working. In what? You thought it would be closer? Or? Yeah, yeah. I, I actually thought the Dogs would have would were going to get up. But the Cowboys have been off lately. They, they haven't been... They haven't been as uh, dynamic, in your face. Ruthless. Uh, their, their line speed's been down, coming down to play the Bulldogs in Sydney, uh, and the Bulldogs have got nothing to lose. Yeah. Like they're just they're just throwing the ball around. They are looking like a they are looking like a real football team. I'm looking forward to seeing them next year. Mm, well, it depends on who their coach is. Um, mm, that's true. So I mean, this you've got to I don't remember. This is the same team that averaged less than ten points a game under Trent Barrett. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So yeah, I, I I was surprised. Scott Drinkwater was exceptional. Oh, Adoka is is such. How did the Blues not pick him? <laughs> all right, that's Let's all. Go back to that. That just brings up more tears. Oh but... yeah, I'll cry with you though this time. <laughs> yeah, no, bit of a surprise. That's and, all. And the Dogs scored a try that was off a, a Burton kick. Yep. That was absolutely superb. Was it? Yep. Well, not only was it, there a fullback struggling to take it, but someone ran through, I can't remember who it was. Was it Car- a caress? Yeah. Was, I think. It was Addo Carr, Burton and Flanagan scored. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they scored it. No, they passed oh, it. Oh, man. Yeah. It was... Phew. And they ran through and caught it out of, out of the fullback's arms mm-hmm. and then passed it and scored. I mean, it was... It was Addo Carr. Yeah. Yeah. 
Jeez, man. That, that was, was in the first minute. No, no, no. That, he, he passed it off. But yeah, that was, they were just, there were things that they were doing that was that were good. Mm. Better than good. Yeah. Like, scarily could be, could be threatening. Yeah. Well, Burton's really starting to, starting to come into his own, isn't he? I mean, now they're yeah. doing a bit of rugby union trying to get in. Well, I, I think yeah. he should go to a Maroon and White club. That there need a five no eight. He's White not a clubs. Queenslander. That need a that need a five eight. Uh, Campbelltown Sports Stadium, where the Knights beat the Tigers fourteen ten. That was a surprise. This, right. yeah, let's was... let's let. Do we have to talk about this game? Oh, it was the did, most. Did, it could have been the most boring game of football this year. No, it wasn't. No, no, no. we have had more boring ones. But oh, I really thought the Tigers were going to get up for this one. No energy, no effort, mm. just incompleted plays. Just, I. And and I've got to say that I was, the commentators were saying, "Oh, well, this 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 Newcastle Knights team is really showing their fans what they can do." And I thought, I tell you what, there are it, it's a Tigers team who just don't even want to be there. So hey, if that's all they going to look good. If that's all they can do, they're in trouble. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, Lado, gentlemen, who's doing it? Panthers thirty-eight, Cows thirty-two, Sharkies thirty, Storm and Parramatta twenty-eight. Rabbitohs and the Broncos on 26 points. And uh, in eighth spot, the Roosters on 24. Do we have to talk about the rest? Keep going. Raiders on 22. Eagles and Dragons on 20. That's disappointing. Who could quite possibly be caught by the uh, Dogs on 14 (laughs) with the Knights. Uh, The Warriors 12, the Tigers 10, and the poor old Titans 8 points. Three wins all year. That's it. The, the bottom three or four are stuck for sure. Okay. I ask you this each week. Top eight, is it set? No. Not not the positions in the top eight, but the top eight. No. There's hope. There's always hope. There's hope for Canberra, Manly or St. George? Only Canberra. There's hope for Canberra and Manly. Yeah. Not St. George. Not St. George. No, it, four and against is way too, <clears throat> too bad for the Dragons. But look, I, I think the Seagulls... Eagles are going to have to. Oh, we have to win. We have to win every, every game. remaining game. Yeah, and have you know Souths Broncos and the Roosters go on a losing streak. Mm. Okay, with well, the Raiders. Let's, let's talk about the next games. Oh, no. Thursday night, Penrith and Melbourne Storm. Penrith. Yeah. Yeah. How do you, how do they lose? Penrith seem to always be at home. I don't know what it is. It's yeah, just I'm, a I'm, just a perceived thing of they seem to always play yeah. at home. Yeah. 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 They're, all their big ones seem to be at home. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so um. Yeah, so Munster's back to 5'8", and um, uh, Sean Meany is back at fullback. Sean Meany? No, not, not Sean Nick Meany. Meany. Nick, Nick. Meany. Nick? What did I say Sean for? I, don't I have know. no idea, because you're getting I mean, old you would now. Know. I'm, getting, I'm, getting, I'm getting old now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you are. I, th- I think Panthers comfortably. Comfortably. Tom, comfortably. I think, well, what's comfortable? 10? Uh, 10? 14 plus. Uh, uh, 10 points. Uh, to the Panthers yet? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm leaning to the Panthers, but I think it'll be a lot closer than what you two are suggesting. I think 14 plus. Uh, Warriors and Bulldogs. Dogs. Dogs. That was quick. Yeah, dogs are playing entertaining football when when I've seen them. Um, they're good. Eels and Souths. Slipperies. I refuse to answer this question. <laughs> You have he to doesn't do. like either, question, either <laughs> answer. Well, I need South to lose so that my club can make the eight. Is that is that where we're at now? <laughs> you, you, all, all you're going to tip on is mathematically getting Manly over the line. Correct. Can I just say, Parramatta and South are in the same position on the NRL table as they are in the reserve grade knock-on effect well, table. It's interesting. Well. Uh, so... Eels, who are you going? Don't don't make me say it. Yeah, no, you got to say Come it. Come on, say it. I can't. I don't Thousands of people are waiting on your uh, bated breath. They can't put their tips in until you speak. The Mitch Moses Moses Eels. I'm going to pick. You're both going to be wrong. The who are you going to smash? Oh yeah, right. Okay. Of course they are. Who's he going to? Who's he going to pick? Look at him. <laughs> I mean, look at him. That's hurtful. Hmm. Sydney Roosters and North Queensland. North Queensland. Roosters. I think this is going to be a difficult one. Really? Yeah. I I actually think Roosters will win this one. 
Right. They're, at, they're at home. Second last game of the SCG. No, Second last game of the SCG. Um, and I think it's it's Teddy's 200th. It's Drew Hutchinson's 50 for, 50th for the oh. Roosters. So there's a couple of little milestones there. Yeah, Sassanet's um, a good milestone game. So. Yeah, but we do. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. And look, as you said, the Cowboys are a little bit down and they're away from home. So um, second week away from home. So I think the Roosters can do it. West Tigers and Sharks. Sharks. Yeah. Have you used West, West, Gully, West, Gully, West Gully Park? Uh, uh, Tamworth? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Broncos and Knights. Yeah. It, the, uh, the Knights are showing us nothing. I think the Broncos will limp, limp, limp home. Limp home. Raiders and the Dragons. Did you agree with that? The Raiders will limp home. No, the Broncos will limp home. Oh, the Broncos will limp home. Oh, yeah. You can't see the Knights winning. Yeah. No. Not at Suncourt. Mm -hmm. not, not again. Raiders and Dragons. The unsticky Raiders will win. Unsticky. Yeah, unsticky. And Titans and Manly. You have to win this game. We have, have to win this game. You have to beat the Titans. They are at home. They have shown just a little, little bit of resilience lately. Are you going to the uh, tipping ladder there, Steve? Uh, yes, I am. Who are you tipping? No, he's going to uh, go. He's, he's going to sell us. Oh, oh Titans one, or Manly? Um, I actually think <laughs> Titans might get He is up. cruel, isn't he? Oh, you liar. <laughs> Seriously, no. You are I, not going to pick the bottom place I, team. I will pick the Titans this week. Hey, and if they win, now's and, the time. And if they win, the Drop jersey deal's off. No, 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 no. no, no, no. You, I offered you an out. I knew that was coming weeks ago. You didn't take it. Oh, you are so wearing. Looking, all right, so come on. Who's leading our footy tip and crap? Brighton seventy five is leading. I'm two sixty. I'm sorry, I haven't had time to do the thing this week. So, Brighton seventy five. Then I said, oh, McRoosters, Saint Mick, Keenaz, Gordon Scott, Stormy May, Amigo Panthero, Bronco for life, and Penny Proud take up the. Top and ten. Chooks Rule is in 11th position. Who cares? That's not the top uh, 10. That's not yeah. the top 10. Listen to him. Seriously, we should do a top 8. Yeah, it's better than top 8. But I'm beating way, the two of you. What? I'm, over, I'm on top of him. Oh, yeah, I gave up weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> I gave up weeks ago. Well, I certainly did. It's because he picks Manly every week. It was, all the, ref, it was all the ref's fault. Uh, and just so you know, uh, for those of us that are following the uh, Fantasy League team, uh, I'm gone, you're gone. So, Wall had a victory over Glizzy of Doom. Uh, Rory's Crocs knocked out uh, the SS Rabbitohs. We have uh, the Mighty McManley knocked over the number one placeholder, Robbie's Randoms. Yes, baby! And uh, Nelly Eels, no? Did Nelly Eels win? No, Nelly Eels is gone. Fitzy Magic. So, this week we only have two games. Robbie versus... Uh, Robbie's Randoms versus Fitz Magic. Rory's Crocs versus Grinners. And I've got a week off. Because I'm successful. And so does Glizzy of Doom. Yeah. And, and I'm now sitting on the sidelines. So Correct. you've got to buy as well. He's got to buy, but you've got to buy. I've got to buy, buy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so I play the winner next week from uh, Wall and Brett. That'll be interesting. Mm. There you go. Winner takes the spoils. Mm. Um, All right. Any, do we not want to talk about the hip drop? Which one? <laughs> the hip drop. <laughs> the, the hip drop. Hip drop. Well, there's a lot of talk about it. Oh, as well, in in general? No, we can bring it up. Talk about it before we get. Well, well you know, it, it's what's more interesting than the hip drop, I think, is is this war of words that's been going on between Brandy and Cam Smith <laughs> about you know about him saying Beautiful. that um, all of the wrestling techniques have come from Melbourne. Sally, sorry to bring this up. Um, He's not. Uh, but but I'm just curious to know what what we feel about this. I, well, I think if you ask. Three quarters of the supporters out there, they'll all say that stuff came out of Manly. Uh, Melbourne. <laughs> Sorry. Slip of the tongue there. Sorry. Uh, hatred, uh, hatred, hatred. Anyway. Yep. Um, uh, they, all came, they all came out of Melbourne. But yeah. I don't think it was, it's really Brandy's right to say what he said. Mm -hmm. True. What's that got to do with the hip drop, though? Well, well it was one of those things that he, oh. he stated but, came from Melbourne. You know, we, we need to be really careful of this because well, just because you're tackling someone behind, behind who's, who's and the player is running, you're trying to pull them down. Yeah. Accidentally, you'll do a hip drop. 
or nine times mm. out of ten because their leg will naturally go under you. Yep. That doesn't mean it's a hip drop. The yep. hip drop is grabbing them and then and then falling on them while they're almost stationary. Yeah. So we've so got to be careful now that every tackle, behind tackle is not called a yeah, hip drop. But, but going into a tackling position where there's a possibility that can happen, well, and tackle, it's all about holding the player up and then the third man in grabs yeah, okay, the leg. But, but, but if you, you run behind someone and tackle them from behind, there's a good chance you're going to hip drop them. Mm. Yeah, Regardless but it's, only, but it's only the third man in that's considered if, if a we st- if, if we stick with that, that's fine. But they've been showing other ones on TV. Yeah. They haven't got a third man in. Yeah. Now, let's let's make the rule. You want to solve this problem? Let's make the rule. The third man in must remain on his feet. Mm-hmm. He can't pull the guy, <coughs> the player down. Oh, yeah, well, but, they usually go diving at the legs well, and they're, they're the naturally going to fall over. And you know what? By the time you've got three people in there, you've already slowed up the, the tackle anyway. Mm. You're still going to peel off slowly. Mm. Because all of a sudden everyone has to untangle their arms from under yep, the, the yep, you know. Yep. I don't think it's a problem. Mm. Because you're right. If two people are holding and <clears> one comes in and drops, that's where the issue is. Yeah, look I'm 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 still sitting on the fence. You should come off that fence. Yeah, look I'm not I'm not, I'm not convinced that 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 the great the great big player who is who is bending the line back uh, running at so if you've got someone like Nelson, yeah. or Jared. or Jared running at Lachlan Ilias, and you know to his side out of position you've got you know Cody Walker coming in. They're not stopping him unless no, a thir- right. unless a third bloke comes in, and if yeah. that third bloke comes in and slips, game over. He's mm. he's off for a hip well, drop. Yeah, I, I I I just think we have to be sensible about it and yeah, just go. You know, it's horses for courses. It's it's a game at a time, tackle at a time, and we'll we'll see what happens. And have a look at each tackle and say, well, okay, we think that was it was yeah. an intentional hip drop. No, because of the circumstances of this one, it wasn't. Yep. You know. Yeah, it's it's really that, hard. But but yeah, but the 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 governing body wants to homogenise everything by saying, if it's called a hip drop, this is what we do. Yeah, but do we have instead of looking at everything. everything. Well, you know. Yeah. Well, it's the same as with again, sorry, Sally, with Nelson. <laughs> Um, you know, and the fact that they argued against that that particular tackle um, and found every reason not to well, penalise him. But, but of you know. course, I mean, that, you do that. You go to the judiciary, you, you try and do everything you I know, can but to it, get off. But it didn't happen to the ju- judiciary. I mean, um, yeah. did, didn't um, didn't Luke Patton give the example be, before the judiciary? It's, Nelson yeah, didn't yeah. go to the judiciary. No, that's right. No, no. So, okay. yeah. Very, very frustrating. There, there's, yeah. there's, there's bits and pieces of the game that are wrong, yeah. and um, you know, and I guess it comes from competitive spirit and wanting to take advantage of every moment. So, yeah. it's that word that starts with a C. Consistency. You will never, right? Get, you will never get consistency. I was wondering what you were going, where you were going hang, there. Hang on my words, you know, consistency. Yeah, I mean, there's just yeah, yeah. Maybe anyway. you can't get consistency. All right, um, gentlemen. Anything intelligent when the show is wrong? hate that question and yet he you know, keeps sh- asking it you should be used to it I've asked you every week for the last three years yeah go Manly we will make the eight we will finish ahead of Souths and we will knock the Roosters out and for three years you've never given me an intelligent answer <laughs> Tom uh, looking forward to this weekend uh, all our teams have got it on the line I think you know it's on the line for I mean even for Rabbitohs to some extent I mean yeah. they're probably the safest of all, of all three of us but uh, I think the Roosters can well, do this. Well, no, South, South have got to play Parramatta, Penrith, Cows and Roosters. Yep. We're no guarantee of any of those. Okay. I'd like to hear that. Maybe against the Roosters. Guaranteed. Oh, we'll yeah. Thank you for watching. You're with Tom Brown and Stephen. This is NRL from the sidelines. And we'll see you all next week. Bye-bye. Bye.